Hey y'all, welcome back to My Real California Life. I hope everybody's having a great Thursday. I actually wasn't planning on doing this for a video today, but um, I totally forgot about this. Sorry, of course I'm having allergies like usual. Um, I walked outside because my dogs were barking and there was a box of produce sitting on my front porch and I'm like, what the heck? Oh, then I remembered. Okay. When I first moved here, I heard about a company called Imperfect Produce. And I was like, how great. I did research. Because um, if you know about if anything, um, basically, if stuff doesn't look good, it goes in the garbage. And then it sucks because it's like they don't even donate it. Um, they won't even let people take it out of the garbage for people who need food. And then, you know what, the worst part about that is, too, they say, oh, we can't because we'll get in trouble or this or that. They make excuses. Never in the history has there ever been somebody who has sued an establishment or a company or anything because they got sick eating garbage and won a case. It's never happened. Ever. So, it's all just stories and myths and if all that stuff would just be donated, it would help so many people. But it just goes in the garbage. And actually, I've been seeing a lot of um, people on YouTube lately. Um, like, dumpster divers is a big thing. And I see a lot of people, especially, I guess there's this one company. I don't think we have them here. But it's called, like, Five Below or something. And they, like, go out. They basically say we destroy all the merchandise. And... I understand they do it so that people can't take the stuff out of the garbage and then go back in and return it for money, which there's got to be some way to do it, like put the merchandise in the system that that's been, you know, disposed of or something so that it can't come back. There's got to be a way to do it. There just has to be. But instead, they destroy it all. Brand new stuff that people could use. And it just blows my mind. It, it just blows my mind. So... Um, food is a big thing now. Like I said, produce, if it doesn't look good, it goes in the garbage. So finally they started a company called Imperfect Produce for produce that doesn't look great. So you can buy it directly from them. But when we first moved in, they didn't come to our area. I got an email saying they started coming. Um, I guess they come to my area between, I don't know, they do it at nighttime most times. So it like starts at 6 p.m. and goes till 6 a.m. So either you get, and it's, you know, each day is a different place. So you get your stuff. Um, either in the, you know, later in the evening or you wake up early in the morning and it's already on your porch and it's awesome. It is a lot cheaper than the store and stuff. So, um, I did not, it is like a subscription, you know, I think you can pick whether you want it weekly or every two weeks or so on. I did not sign up. I just ordered it because I wanted to see how it was and if I was going to continue. But I do love the concept. I love that they are helping to get this out to people. Um, they're encouraging eating healthy for cheaper. And it doesn't have to look perfect. Just like everybody else, produce isn't perfect. Come on, people. But we eat with our eyes. We're a society that has learned that we like things that are pretty. And it goes the same for food. And that's horrible. So... I come out and I have this box on my porch and it is, I love it. Okay, so first of all, it says, by enjoying this produce, you are, we're saving produce, water, land, and labor for giving, and labor from going to waste. Supporting farmers by helping them sell more of what they grow because rather than throwing away all the stuff that looks ugly, they get to sell their whole entire crop and make as much money as possible for, because farming is really hard work. Advocating that fresh fruits and veggies be affordable and accessible to everyone. And then I love down here, it says, embracing beauty in all shapes, sizes, and colors. And I just love this. So go online, check them out. Um, Imperfect Produce. It actually comes up. You can look up, like, ugly produce, and it comes up. It's super cute, but it's not ugly. So... Um, you can get like a small, medium, large, extra large. So I went ahead, I think I got the extra large box and it was supposed to be like, I want to say it was like 30 pounds or something, but I don't think it's that much. I'll show you guys what I got. And I think that they randomly, I think I kind of did random, just go ahead and send me something so I could kind of see. And, um, I want to say, I'm going to show you guys in a second. I think that I paid about... $42 for this. Okay, sorry y'all. 
so I got all that now everything that I got is organic too you don't have to do organic you can do the other one and it's a little bit cheaper but I mean if we're going for produce that doesn't look perfect already why not have organic that's the whole thing um, produce looks nice because they spray it with pesticides to keep bugs away they pump it full of stuff to make it as big and shiny as possible but that's not how fruits and vegetables are supposed to be they're supposed to be normal size they're not supposed to be pretty yes they have a little bit of you know mess ups on the leaves because that's part of nature bugs get on them I would rather have this on my leaf than poison sorry so we got, it looks like, some app. We got four apples, three avocados. I got three peaches, three nectarines, six limes. Now, I love this, and I know I saw this online. It's called a, um, a watermelon radish. So, I'm interested to try that. Now, we got a, a spice mix, or a season mix. Um, basil, spearmint, and dill, which I have tons of basil, but it's always nice. I got two purple garlic. Two, four, six, eight purple potatoes, two giant pears. Those look amazing. Two beautiful little bok choys, um, two cucumbers, two zucchinis, a head of cauliflower, two, I think Swiss shards is what they were. Yeah, two Swiss shards, um, organic head of green leaf lettuce, two packages of organic leeks. So I have four total. Those are really good to cook with. Um, and then two heads of organic broccoli. So, I mean, we got a lot of fresh organic fruits and produce delivered right to our doorstep. And like I said, I paid, I think, $42. It was like between $42 and $45. Now, go check them out. It's amazing. They do deliveries all over. You, um, They'll give you notification like, four days before it comes or something saying hey your list is open you can go on and customize pick everything you want or don't want and you have until this day at this time you know if you don't whatever's on that is going to go or not we'll just do it you know so they let you pick and choose what you want to so that's really cool if you know you're going to be cooking something you know you're going to need something you want to try a new recipe you know and then um the price does change because produce it, it ranges. It's like gas goes up and down. So does produce. So the prices might change now. It's not going to be like one week your tomatoes are going to cost $2 and the next week they're going to cost 75000 Not drastic like that, you know, but it does range. I see, you know, it could go up, you know, 10 cents, 50 cents, but it's not horrible. So again, go check them out. I absolutely love this concept. You are helping to get all this produce eaten and to eat healthy for more people to be able to afford it and this stuff doesn't all this stuff would have gone in the garbage it's not considered sellable in the grocery market because it's not perfect and to me that is insane I mean this stuff looks perfectly fine to me yes I will tell you right now that my yam looks like it's on steroids but that's okay because I'm sure it's gonna taste great he's got some weird it could be a she I'm sorry it's got some weird ripply veins doesn't look the best it's seriously the biggest yam I've ever seen but I'm sure it's gonna taste great so it doesn't really matter I also love they sent this little thing with it and it tells you all about how to properly store your produce which a lot of people don't know like if you put your onions next to your potatoes it's gonna make your potatoes go bad a lot faster so I love that it tells you all this stuff what does need to go in the refrigerator what doesn't because there's a lot of um, like fruits and stuff that doesn't need to go in the refrigerator potatoes yams squash watermelon onions garlic shallots all that stuff goes in the pantry but make sure you put your potatoes on the bottom and your onions on the top you don't want them on the same shelf but you know it gives you nice little tips what needs to go in a plastic bag what doesn't what needs to be in the dark in paper what releases gases so on so forth so they are teaching you all about away and like I have said over and over you don't need to throw away your fruits and vegetables catch them before they get obviously if they've turned to mush and mold and there's fruit flies don't save them and don't say that I told you to <laughs> but if they're still good, like you can see, okay, I'll show you for instance, I know I'm blabbering, but you know I like to talk. I'm going to show you my freezer, y'all. Don't mind this. This is my 
a little freezer, we have a deep freezer. But if you can see my pile of bananas here, okay, when my bananas get ripe like this, they're just ripe. My boys don't like them super ripe. They like them a little bit greener. So I freeze all my bananas because they work awesome for banana bread. For banana bread, you want bananas to be as sweet as possible. When you freeze them, it brings all the sugar out. Also, though, like I said, okay, I had kiwis that were ripe, and there's an orange and a full peach in there. I throw them in the freezer because I will use it to either make our homemade ice cream or to make smoothies. The same, I have strawberries. I have, this is a peach I actually cut off the, you know, the pit before I put it in there. That's a banana that got open. You know, we got blueberries. I save everything. All that doesn't need to go to waste because even the vegetables, you can use it for smoothies, you can use it for ice cream, fruit roll-ups. If you have babies, fresh baby food, it's amazing and so easy to make. So, go check out Imperfect Produce. They're amazing. And don't throw away your fruits and vegetables if they're going bad. Freeze them and save them. Thank you all so much. I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you soon.